Hey guys, what's up? So today I thought I would just take a little break from holiday videos. Two videos ago, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video about my hair and a lot of you guys said that you'd be interested in knowing how I went from brown hair to lavender hair. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today, my hair transformation. And quick thing, I don't do my own hair. I did not bleach my own hair because I was just way too scared to do that because uh, my hair could just like, you know, I could go bald and it could fry and it could be crispy and crunchy and it could just all go bad. My wonderful cousin is a hairdresser and she always does my hair for me and every time I'm always like, hey, um, Kristen, can we do this crazy thing? And she was like, you bet we can. And I'm like, sweet. So if you guys want to um, check out her hair Instagram I'll leave it right here and also linked down below I believe it's just called hair by Kristen Frazier and she would really really appreciate it if you guys would go follow her on Instagram and check out her page and maybe get some more hair inspiration because she has all kinds of different hair pictures on there as well as a couple of my own hair let's just go ahead and get into the video Okay, so I thought it'd be fun to talk about like my whole hair like journey kind of thing instead of just like talking about how I went from brown to purple I figured I would start at the beginning. And the beginning looks like this. I've always had brown hair. One day I was just like I want to dye the underneath of my hair purple. And this was several years ago before I even started my YouTube channel. If I like were to clip all this up and just dye like what's underneath purple, I did that and it wasn't like a lavender, it was a dark purple. So you can see and then I had that for several um, months. Actually, I think I had it for like a year or two. And then I was like, you know what? I want to spice this up a little bit. And I went from a purple underneath to a purple ombre. So instead of it just being underneath, it was like the whole bottom of my hair, like from like here down, was like the dark purple. You know, you gotta bleach it and then you gotta put the color on top. So that's what we did. And after I had that for a while, I was like, I want to spice it up again. And I was like, let's ombre the ombre and put some purple underneath. I mean, let's put some blue underneath of the purple. You don't get a bleach at all. Well, actually, she didn't bleach the bottom much because it was already bleached from previous color, but she'd have to bleach it up a little bit more. Um, so you put the purple on the top and she faded into the blue onto the bottom. Insert picture now. Had that one for several months, and then after it faded away, I kind of just dyed it myself. I put some blue dye on top of what was already bleached, and then I just kind of had like a blue ombre, so it was just all blue on the bottom, which is actually what I had last Christmas. And then it kind of eventually turned into green. So if you've seen videos of me, my hair is kind of green on the bottom, it's just because the blue turned into green. Um, but then after a while of having that, I was like, you know what? I want to change it up again. I went for a pink and blue ombre, so I had pink on the top and blue on the bottom, and everyone said it looked like a rocket popsicle, and I was like totally in love with it. And I did that twice, so I had that for a couple months. And then I was just like, you know what? I want to go big this time. I just want to go for it, and I just want to do it. I wanted. I decided that I was going to dye my hair all purple. I always told myself, I was like, I really want to do that, but I'm never going to do that. I'm way too scared to do that. I'm not going to do that. Um, and then one day I was like, you know what? You only live once. And I know that's cheesy, but you only live once. And once I get like really, really old, people are going to be like, why are you dying your hair in these crazy colors? So I figured I might as well do it now. She bleached my whole head and she didn't just use bleach. I believe the bleach that she used is called Olaplex. So this is what I went in before and then this is what it looked like when she was bleaching my hair and it was really scary. I was like, ah, kind of remind me of like Draco from, um, you know, Malfoy from Harry Potter. And I was like, wow, this is kind of scary. And then when she dried it, it was like all like yellow and I was like, whoa, this is freaking me out. Then she took me over to the sink and basically she was like, washing it and putting the dye in at the same time so that it wouldn't like be too dark because the dye that she was using was fairly dark but it came out a lot lighter than we expected which is what I wanted in the first place you know we washed it and dried it and it turned into this and I'm so 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 happy about it I figured since this is gonna be a bit of a short video I'd add into what I do for my hair care so basically my hair care routine is pretty simple. I wash my hair the least amount I possibly can. I actually went without washing my hair for like six days last week. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy. I've never gone that long without washing my hair. But my hair didn't even get that greasy, which is good because the less you wash your hair, the less the color's gonna fade out. And normally I like to let my hair air dry just so that I don't have the heat from the dryer. And I don't use any specific like special like hair 
staying shampoo or conditioner. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I know the last couple videos of mine have been me just kind of like sitting down and talking. So I will have a new, my next video is going to be a lot more exciting. It's going to be another holiday video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any specific holiday video requests. And I'm so excited because I'm doing Vlogmas again this year. So be sure to look out for that. And make sure you're subscribing to see all my new holiday videos. I would love, love, love to have you in like our family. My New Year's goal was to reach 5,000 subscribers. I'm probably not going to get there but that's okay because it's not really about the numbers. But if you wanted to help me get closer to that goal, um, you can definitely subscribe down below and I promise you, you will not regret it. It's free and you'll get notified every time I make a video. I'm pretty sure you guys know how the subscription thing works by now. Yeah, I am so excited to see you guys and I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye. Santa, tell me.